Hello and you're very welcome to this video on our series on Unit 4 for Legal Certificate Business and in this video we're going to look at what the acid test or the quick ratio is. We're going to look at what the formula for it is, we're going to calculate the acid test or quick test ratio and then we're going to analyse what the trend means for analyse uh, the acid test or a quick test ratio. So <clears throat> excuse me, what is the formula? It's quite simply current assets take away your closing stock to current liabilities. Why do you take away the closing stock? We'll look at later on in the video, but for now we're just going to look at the formula. So it's quite simply current assets, less closing stock, it's current liabilities. The only difference between this and the current ratio is we're taking away the current stock. So in our example question here, we've got current assets of 660,000, we've got a closing stock of 200,000, and current liabilities of 260,000. So what is the asset test ratio? Well, we put those numbers into our formula, and then we do our bit of maths on it. Okay, so 666, 660,000 to take away 200,000 is to 260,000. Take the two numbers away from each other at the start and that gives you 460,000 is to 260,000. Now, we want to get the 260,000 to being one because with all our ratios, remember from the last video, is that's always a figure is to one. So we divide by the number on the right hand side. So in this case, strangely enough, again, the figure is 260. It isn't always 260 by the way, just in the, this example and the last example it is. Divide both sides by 260 and we're getting a 1.5 is to one is the answer for our ratio there. So quite simply, we put our figures into our formula and we do a bit of maths and dividing to make sure it's a figure is to one. Okay, now, analyzing the trend, the recommended ratio in this case is one is to one. Okay, now the key thing about this trend, uh, this ratio is different to the current ratio, is it only includes our liquid assets, i.e. cash and debtors. Okay, uh, by taking out our closing stock, okay, it means that it goes from current assets to liquid assets. My closing stock is something I have. So say, for example, I have a bottle of chocolate milk, I've got a Muju there, for example. Okay, that could expire and not it could go out of date and i might not sell it so therefore that book might come worthless to me so in order for me to sell it on the day it goes out of date i may have to sell it at a lower price so it doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be become worth as much as i think it will now i might sell it and make a profit on it and happy days then i'm fine okay but there's no guarantee that i can turn this as a current asset it's something i excuse me own no guarantee i can turn this into actual cash Okay, so that's why this is a sometimes seem to be a better ratio um, for identifying how much in terms of paying stuff back. So the idea is that you've exactly the amount of liquid assets you need to pay back what you owe. A higher ratio is good as the more liquid assets for what they owe because you always want to have a bit more. Okay, um, the lower ratio is bad as the less liquid assets for what they owe. Think about what this means as well based on what we learned in the last video. Okay, so what does this mean? It means for every euro of liabilities, uh, of current liabilities we have, we have one euro of liquid assets. In other words, our current assets as closing stock uh, to be able to pay that. Okay, that's what the one to one means. In this case, was our answer was 1.5 to one. So it means for every euro of current assets we have, sorry, for every euro of current liabilities, we've one euro 50 in liquid assets to pay that back. I hope that all made sense and if you have any questions on this video, ask below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And of course, why not subscribe to the channel as well? It's that little button there in the middle of the screen. Uh, probably ha It's probably not got a photo on it yet because I'm lazy. Maybe you're watching this and I have bothered to actually do something with the graphics on this channel. Anyway, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. See you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.